Uh, hey guys. So, today, I'm going to be uh, reviewing some water, kind of like what Report of the Week did. Uh, the thing about uh, these waters is that uh, they they are of different countries. So, you know, there's Fiji water and Icelandic. I'm not sure if it's Icelandic water. I know one's like glacial or something, and then one's like Pacific Island, whatever thing. And just like before the week, I had these fancy goblets here. Well, he had wine glasses or something like that. I'm gonna use these because um, my family does not drink alcohol, so this is really all we have. All right, so I'm gonna go get the water real quick. Sorry for the little wait. Uh, so here, we'll start with the Fiji water first. I think I got what I think is the smallest size bottle for each one. I'm not completely sure about that, but the smallest I could find at my QT in Tulsa. But, um, so we'll look at the Fiji first. Um, square, just like the Icelandic, so they're both very hipster, kind of like that boxed water. Which I thought of getting, but I decided not to, because how would that freaking fit in a cup holder? Because I was on a road trip at the time. These, I didn't even use yet, so it didn't matter. The Fiji is taller, I'm not sure if the volume should be bigger. 700 milliliters on this one. This one is 500 milliliters. So this one says natural artesian water. Uh, okay, from the islands of Fiji, and it really is. Some people think it's fake, it's not. This is really from Fiji. And it says on the back, Earth's finest water. In Fiji, tropical rain slowly filters through ancient volcanic rock before collecting in sustainable aquifer deep within the earth. Along the way, the water gathers the vital minerals that give Fiji its significant soft, smooth taste and the natural occurring electrolytes that are significantly higher than other brands. But all that the source natural pressure forces Fiji towards a ceiling delivery system and directly into the bottle. Uh, it's its nature in sand water and untouched by man until you unscrew the cup. So, I'm not completely sure how I changed accents all the way through, but whatever, I guess. Um, it, it declares it as Earth's finest water, apparently by, like, Purify. It, it has a little diagram. The water, the rainwater, I guess, comes down and goes to this natural purifier. I don't think that's safe, but I... Now we're gonna look at Icelandic, which is, I think, newer. I haven't seen it before, and I've seen PG. This one does see the pH level of it, which is 8.4, which is kind of high for water, but okay. Um, or it's, no, it's not high. It's just to more towards basic, which is fine, I guess. Doesn't matter. Natural spring water from Iceland, which I guess is true. And it's glacial. That's why it's this weird, like, ice texture. Um, doesn't really have, it doesn't have a, oh, it does. It does have one. Of 5,000 years ago, long before the humans reached the remote Iceland, a massive volcanic erosion created a unique underground spring, complete with its own natural filtration system. Pristine love rock, now known as the Earth Spring. This is the origin of Icelandic glacial natural spring water, the source of an epic life. Uh, so it's pretty much the same as Fiji in how they claim that they get the water. Uh, it doesn't really say anything else on it, really. It has some few things. It says five cents, which is not true. These are both very expensive. I can't remember which one was more expensive. Uh, they're obviously very hipster with the square. Um, I, I don't know how you're going to fit that in your hipster Volkswagen T1 camper van or your... Dodge Caravan with those like unicorns on the side. I don't think that's gonna fit in your cup holder, dude. Uh, this one says source of an epic life, just like this one. Freaking what? Oh, well, this one says source of nature or whatever. Earth's finest water. So they're, they're very similar. I'm not sure if they're owned by the same company or not. I don't have a lot of knowledge of this. This is just an average Joe uh, rating freaking water like an idiot. Alright, so we're gonna get started here. I think we will get started with Fiji water first. 
Uh, I'm not going to pour all of it into the, the Zigblablet, but we're going to pour some of it. So, it looks like it's like a milk thing. We're going to pull the thing off. Just like that. Here we go. I'm going to pop it off. It's got a little squirt thing. I'm not going to squeeze it. Just like the, um, the, with smart water. Pull it back in here. I think it's good. Seems pretty clear, like freaking water. All right, now for the Icelandic. I hope I don't like switch them up by accident. All right, I'll just put the Fiji water behind this one. Okay, now for this here. <laughs> Open up, Young Metro, come on. Okay. There we go. Easy. Uh, I don't want to taste it yet. All right, I'm gonna take this next one here. I think that was a bit more than the Fiji, but that's fine. It's growing a little bar boy. All right. We'll go with uh, the Fiji one first. So we're gonna aerate it as a classy man would I guess I'm not very classy I'm wearing a freaking Westbrook shirt but that's fine I guess I mean I, I'd assume he's a pretty classy man other than being a douche all right here we go here we go well Believe it or not, it tastes like water. It has this weird little stinging vibe or something like that, which I'm pretty sure is just the electrolytes. All right, so we're gonna move that out of the way. And now we are going to go to... Now we're gonna go to this. All right, so here we go. All right, they taste pretty similar as being water, but um, the Icelandic seem to have more of a, like the sting thing I, I uh, described from this. It seems to have more of it, which is fine. I don't really care at all. All right, now the verdict. To say which one Fiji or Icelandic. Now, I mean, I don't really have a necessarily personal preference, but I'll give one anyway because I feel like I need to being the being trash. All right, so uh, I think personally that the Icelandic is better. It has more of like the the electrolyte taste than the Fiji. The Fiji is more substantial though, having a larger bottle. Uh. uh the price, I don't remember, again, I don't remember which one was more. That could defactor a lot. I'm pretty sure the Fiji was more just because I bought a bigger bottle of it. Um, and in conclusion, water is the same.